Good afternoon guys and welcome back to Guatemala. Today I've just arrived in Antigua. Um, so I've travelled from Rio Dolce to Antigua. Um, and yeah, over today, this afternoon and tomorrow I'm going to be exploring the city. Uh, the city is super, super cool. It's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So on the way here we actually saw loads of um, chicken buses. So the same ones that were in Belize, but they've got them in Guatemala. But the ones in Guatemala are super colourful. They're so cool. They're like, got loads of like, they look like party buses. They've got loads of designs on them. And apparently there's like a, um, the workshop where they make all of them is near Antigua. Another thing that was quite surprising around here, so on the way here we went through Guatemala City, which has kind of like got a reputation for being kind of bad and dangerous. And so it was really fascinating seeing what it looked like. I would have loved to see it in more detail. Um, but there were so many like uh, security guards, like armed security. Um, everywhere we went, like the, the fuel stations, but even small corner shops would have, you know, security guards with shotguns around. It was ridiculous. At one point I even went to the loo and next to me, like in the urinal, there were just two guys with shotguns just there. It was a bit of a different world. Um, but yeah, so this evening I'm just going to get some food, not explore much. Tomorrow's going to be the main ooh, ice cream. Tomorrow's going to be the main exploring day. Uh, I'll show you guys around. I'm going to get up relatively early, still get some sleep. Uh, but this evening it's just going to be food and like I'm going to research what's the best sites basically. Good morning, guys. It is a lovely sunny morning here in Antigua. And today I'm going to do the fat explore of Antigua, show you some of the main sites, the churches, some of the churches and ruins. And uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. So these ruins out here are in fact the ruins of the monastery that was attached to the main iglesia. So the monastery is now only in ruins. Just climbed up some stairs to get a better vantage point. So you can see down there the courtyard that I was just in. It's super, super nice because they've got trees and like, you know, it's like, it feels like a park, but with ruins. In the back here, you've got more ruins on the other side. It is just so good to vlog down these streets. There's just constant colour, constant views. It's not the best place for it. I don't know if you can see, but all the way back there, there's a volcano, because Antigua is surrounded by volcanoes. So nearly every street you walk down, you look down the end, and there's another volcano. It is so cool. So the city of Antigua itself is at roughly 1,500 meters, I think, around that. And the volcanoes around, the highest one is at 4,000 meters. So it's like, it feels like you're in the valley, but you're still high up. It's just the views here. <laughs> Incredible, honestly. Parks here in the city are absolutely stunning. It's just full of locals going on about their life. You've got the scenery in the back. So I'm in the main square now, which is actually a beautiful park full of locals. And then if I do a 360, woo, whoosh, is the cathedral. So that's the cathedral of Antigua, the main one. So I'm gonna have a look inside that one, I think. So I'm now in the ruins of the old cathedral. So the main cathedral that I've just been in is just over there attached. So this is part of it, from, I believe was destroyed in the, uh, in the earthquake. So there was a huge earthquake in 1773. And it's at that point, I mean, a couple years later, Antigua was actually the capital before that. They moved the capital to Guatemala City. Um, so they reconstructed this iglesia, and this part like was the old part. Um, so yeah, you can full on just still see the domes, which is incredible. And up here you've also got the altar, which is still there, you've got the cross and everything. Bloody hell, this is Pigeon Central. Try not to get shot. So 
these guys here are retiling the roof and there's just a guy up there standing with a shotgun. <laughs> so just off the main square, uh, down one of the streets, there is this big famous arch where if you were to ever Google Antigua, you'd see photos from that arch of the volcano behind it. So this is the arch behind me and you can see why the view is so iconic here. We've got the beautiful streets and the volcano just popping out. It's so cool. It's idyllic, but the issue here is that they haven't pedestrianised it, so there's running traffic. So like me, I'm about to get run over because I'm in the middle of the street and it's worse when this car's coming. <laughs> so you just see all the tourists trying to get photos and they just have to run off the road. It's quite entertaining. So another pretty interesting thing about this little awesome city is that all the signs they've got here for shops are made out of wood and look really old. So you'll see like Subway with like an old sign. There's like a, a Wendy's, a Burger King, everything you can think of. Because it is touristy, so they've got those places, but they're not allowed to use their big flashy signs. So it doesn't stand out, which is a really cool idea to keep the authentic authenticity of the city. So they started getting like electricity cables and at some point they decided they didn't want the cables like running in the streets. It ruined the look. It, it would make it look new modern. They wanted to keep the old feel. So they did a project where they put all the cables on the ground and it was actually funded by Coca-Cola. So if you look at like some of the like lampposts, there's one here. There's the lamppost. There's actually a little Coca-Cola symbol. So up there, that little viewing platform is where I'm heading to. That's the viewpoint. Well, finally made it to the top. Right behind me is the, the cross. Where is the cross? There, there's the cross. And then if I do a 180, you've got all of Antigua. You've got the vol Volcan Agua. That's interesting. It's now pedestrianised, which it wasn't when I came. I'm guessing maybe because it's the weekend. It's busy though. What the hell is going on here? It's so busy. Look at all of these people. Woo. So, so busy. Here's the arch again. What a place. And the volcan. Are you feeling okay? You look a bit square. I am back at La Iglesia de Merced, which is just a stunning church. Now that I've got jeans on, I can check out the inside. So let's go. This place is really cool. And it's also nice and cold, which is very needed right now, I'm sweating. So this monastery was actually built in the 1700s and it's one of the monasteries that got toppled by the 1773 earthquake, the big earthquake here. So now it's just in ruins and the only thing that actually stands is the arch at the front. So this is the main arch here that still stands. It just goes whoop and everything else behind it is just toppled and crumbled. Everyone's just having a blast right now, just, just climbing on all these rocks. There's so many of them, it's just, yeah, it's like a minefield of rocks, and everyone's just, the kids are just running around climbing on them. But it's such a surreal setting. On my way to the Central Park, I've come across the bus station here. So we've got all the really cool painted like chicken buses. All of them here. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the Central Square is just bustling. Full of people, look at that. It's incredible. So cool to enjoy the weekend like this. What a city. 
So today seems to be market day on the central square and the building right here, it's kind of hidden, is uh, El Palacio de Capitan General, which dates back from the 16th century and it was the headquarters of the colonial Central America until the capital was relocated from Antigua over to Guatemala City. So it's actually a really pretty building but you can't really see it today because I'm in the market, which is full of paintings, I think it's artisan, artisanal, artisanal, can't pronounce that. Full of like, yeah, loads of people selling their stuff, paintings, honey, cakes. It's awesome. Today is actually my last day in Guatemala. Today, tomorrow, I'll be heading to Honduras. Um, so make sure to check out that video. Put a link at the end of the video, as always. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Woo!